All right, can you start just by telling me what your names are and where you're from? I'm Sumi Brixton Siakor, uh, Special Manager, Salah Brock Captain Service, Salah Bon Council. I'm Rebecca Murray, and I'm the workshop facilitator for journalists for human rights. And you just wrapped up a workshop here? We came here uh, yesterday, we commenced the workshop yesterday uh, in Bangka City, Bon County. And what was the workshop on? Well, the workshop was all about uh, human rights, uh, reporting with community radio stations in Liberia. And what do you think are some of the most important human rights issues in Liberia? Well, um, it was uh, important that the workshop was heard for community radio journalists uh, to know the fact that um, there have been a lot of violation on human rights abuses in this country. So uh, this workshop actually imparted to us the knowledge that uh, we should know uh, uh, that there are some human rights abuse or abuses in our community. So we should be able to report those human rights abuse uh, that have been, uh, abuses that have been occurring in our various communities. And what are some specific stories that you're going to cover now? Well, uh, it's like uh, one of the important uh, stories that, that um, reminds me uh, is like uh, people um, just arresting people um, for, for an alleged allegation, for investigation, um, taking them to court, I mean taking them to, 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 to the central prison. So that actually, I feel that uh, uh, that's one of the uh, human rights uh, abuses that we're talking about. Uh, take for example, in my community there was uh, a guy allegedly accused of, 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 of raping a 13 year old girl. They took him to, to Bangla immediately for investigation. So those are things I think we, the watch have educated us, and these are things we need to be reported on. And Rebecca, what are some of the other stories that journalists brought up that they wanted to cover? Um, there's definitely pre-trial, long pre-trial detentions are one of them with detainees being held for up to two years. That seems to be countrywide. Another one is child labor. A lot of kids are uh, working um, from the age of like 8, 9, 10. Um, and so people really want to talk about that. They want to talk about lack of access to education. Either the teachers don't show up, they're not paid, or they ask for money for grades. That's a big one. Um, people just feel like kids aren't getting an education here. And then you've got just lack of access as journalists to tools, like research tools. Um, there are no books, it seems. Um, internet use is extremely scarce in the inland. You know, in Monrovia, you, you're lucky if you can get an internet, but here, there really isn't much. No newspapers, it's just radio-based. Um, so, so there's all these different issues. Also, journalists just having tools to be able to do their jobs. Um, but yeah, and, and, and another thing is women, women's rights is another big issue here, um, and gender-based violence. And what's one thing that you want people to know about Liberia? Well, actually, we want to, we want people to know about Liberia, that um, this country um, is a country of law and a country of man. And uh, people who uh, take uh, uh, justice into their own hands, uh, 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 we strongly uh, uh, against it. Uh, we term it in a strongest term that it, uh, it, it is the protocol that people who will be uh, taking law into their own hands. And also, we want to remind our good citizens that um, uh, right now Liberia has fought war for over 40 years. Yeah, but now we are now a uh, lot of people are coming out to our aid. We should accept them. Uh, and listen to them and, and work alongside with them so that we can, we can cut to the human rights abuses in this country.